The following fans tell the story of the last day in the life of Helena Blunden. Helena was 16 years old. She lived in Raphael Street in the markets area of Belfast. She worked in a linen mill nearby. Like many young girls her age, Helena was trading in the art of the weaving of linen. The year was 1912 when these events happened. In those days, Belfast was renowned for the beauty of his linen disc mask. This famous disc mask was finely patterned, sometimes with golden and silver thread. It was much sought after. But the day that day was the oddness of working in the mill. Helena and many other women and children slaved for 10 hours a day, 5 days a week and 5 hours on a Saturday. All for less than what I would pay for 10 cents rest today. If a special order came in, the workers had to stay on to Saturday night or even Sunday. Faithfully, the special orders this day was for the dismassed tablecloths, which were to be laid on the tables in the first class dining room on the Titanic. Yet, Helena was full of faith, for she was a gifted singer and dancer, and a lover of poetry. She especially loved the romantic poetry and songs of the Irish poet William Butler Yeats. Because of her talent, Helena had another faithful rendezvous that Saturday night. She was to sing in the Grand Opera House. The Titanic feels at dawn, and this shipment is going to be on the view if we have to stay at dawn. I'm singing tonight, and I'm going to be late. Damn this shipment, damn the Titanic. Wasn't it wonderful? My voice being recorded on that new fangled machine. And wasn't it marvellous getting that right up in St Malachy's Parish News? Miss Helena London sang in the last week's Confirmation Mass. We must congratulate Helena on her fame performance of P.A. Jesu. The demands of the piece are considerable. With the proper guidance, she will surely make her glad. Breakers, the order's almost finished. Look how beautiful my the clothes are. Oh, I don't know. After hours working on them, they look like shreds to me. Breakers, then they go next thing I had it next. Oh, my heart's pounding. I'm all excited now. I can't wait. Nineteen twelve is the year of tragedies. The Titanic sank with loss of many lives. No less tragic was the death of young Helena, a promising young singer. But like all good Belfast stories, it always ends in a ghost. 